There's been just a small tangent, a lot of discussion about hypersonic nuclear weapons, like uh, missiles from you know uh, Russia uh, bragging about that. Is this something that's a significant concern, or is it just a way to flex about different kinds of weapon systems? Hypersonics, I do think, pose a, a challenge for our detection systems because there are, um, you know, there are, there are design considerations in these sensor systems, as always, right? And when you build them and the technology progresses to a point where maybe it's not feasible to use that technology, you know, there's a problem. But with the, you know, the all domain and kind of cross domain data linking capabilities we have, um, it's less of, you know, it's a more of an integrated picture, I'll say. Um, and so the hypersonics um, are really what it is, is a, how fast can we detect and destroy a problem? And you're just shortening the time available to do that. And we call yeah. something like that the kill chain, right? It's, it's from um, locating a target and identifying it and, you know, essentially authorizing its destruction by whatever means, uh, employing, and then actually following up to ensure that you did what you said you were going to do in some sense, right? Does it need another reattack, something of that nature? And so... There's an old dogfighting framework, you could call it. It's called the OODA loop. It kind of made its way in the engineering of business now, but the old observe, orientate, decide act was initially a, a, a fighter mechanism in order to get inside that kill chain of your opponent and break it up so that he can't uh, process his, his kill chain on you. Mm -hmm. And so hypersonics are a way of shortening those those windows of opportunity to to react to that. I wonder to what, do, like, uh, how much do you have to shorten it in order for the defense system's not to work anymore. It seems like uh, it's very, you know, I, I'm i both often horrified by the thought of nuclear war, uh, but at the same time wonder what that looks like. When I, I dream of extreme competence in defense systems, I imagine that not a single nuclear weapon can reach the United States by missile with, with the defense systems. Or the defense, system. defense systems. But then again, I also understand that these are extremely complicated systems, the amount of integration required. And because you're not using them, I mean, this is, exactly. <laughs> there could be, you know, there's like an intern somewhere uh, that like forgot to update the code, the Fortran code that like is going to be make the difference because you, you don't have the opportunity to really thoroughly test, um, which is, is really scary. Of course, the systems are probably incredible if they could be tested, but because they can't be really thoroughly tested in actual, um, in an actual attack, I wonder. I mean, the, I guess one assumption there would be that these hypersonic missiles would only be launched in the case of an attack. Um, it'd be interesting if there were other hypersonic objects that we could use to flex those systems.